Today, price sees this pattern forming in cryptocurrencies, just like motor car companies in the 20s, electronics in the 60s, and dot-com stocks in the 2000s. Hello and welcome back to our channel. The topic for today's video is Manish Pabrai reveals why 2022 is the same to 1929, 1960, and 2000. Watch this video till the end to learn about the fantastic and highly effective books written by Manish Sir. Before we begin, make sure that you've subscribed to our channel. Indian-American businessman, philanthropist, and investor Manish Pabrai was born in Mumbai, India. Between 1986 and 1991, he was employed by Telabs, beginning in the company's high-speed data networking division before joining its foreign subsidiary in 1989 and working in global sales and marketing. In a recent interview, Manish Pabrai said that some regions of the market are showing very similar signs to the way things were in the 1920s, the 1960s, and the early 2000s and all of these periods were times of solid euphoria in the market, but of course, we all know how they ended up copying. Manish Pabrai said that he thinks in the 1920s we had a significant bubble in automobile companies, so any company with the name Motor in it would go crazy. We had hundreds of auto companies. That's because all these bubbles have a kernel of truth, and the kernel of truth at that time was that the horse's history was true. Then in the 1960s, the early 60s, there was the Tronics boom, so if you had a company where name ended in Tronics, it got a spectacular evaluation. Still, in 2000, it was the dot-com, again, a significant kernel of truth. And now, we have crypto. New coins and currencies are being created every hour. It's a frenzy crypto. The last time, the total value across all of them was more than $3 trillion, And that, in Manish's opinion, will disappear to nothing. Manish is using history to analyze the market today. The particular area of the market that Pabrai is talking about is cryptocurrencies, so that's important to note he's not talking about the market as a whole. He's talking about crypto and certain meme stocks, so when you go back through history, there are some fascinating patterns that crop up. If one notices, all bubbles have what Pabrai calls a kernel of truth to them. Let's go back to the 1920s, the Roaring Twenties as they're better known. There was a massive bubble in the automobile sector. But why was there a bubble, though? because everyone saw that automobiles would change the world. It was as evident as daylight. They were so much easier to use than a horse and cart. You could travel much further, much faster, and it's much more comfortable. This was the kernel of truth. So everyone wanted to invest in the auto industry. They wanted to make money. However, most car companies went bankrupt. In the 1960s, a very similar pattern was seen. Any company whose name ended in Tronics attracted vast amounts of investors. They thought that semiconductors, cables, and transistors would change the world, which was true. They did change the world. However, most companies failed, and investors lost their money. 2000. This is more of a familiar story, but it was the dot-com era. People knew that computers, phones, and the internet would transform the generation as we're aware of it, and as we all know it did. You're watching this video using the internet right now. However, most internet companies failed. Only a few like Microsoft, Apple, and Amazon got through, and they did transform the world. Today, Price sees this pattern forming in cryptocurrencies. We all know crypto will change the world and how we use money. However, this does not mean that most cryptocurrencies will thrive. It seems that almost every day we hear of a new coin that's been formed that's the next one to buy. However, with crypto, Pabrai thinks that most of these are in a huge bubble and will crash to nothing just like motor car companies in the 20s, electronics in the 60s, and dot-com stocks in the 2000s. Books written by Manish Pabrai Books by Manish Pabrai totaled two. He draws inspiration from Warren Buffett's approach to investing. The Dondo Investor, the low-risk value method to high returns is the book's title. The book Mosaic, Perspectives on Investing by Pabrai is another. Pabrai has condensed the investing strategy used by Warren Buffett into a handful of points in this book. He made these views in several pieces he wrote between 2001 and 2003 for several newsletters and websites. In Guy Spire's book The Education of a Value Investor, particularly in the chapter titled Doing Business the buffett Pabrai Way, Pabrai's philosophy on life is thoroughly discussed. Thanks for staying throughout. We hope you found this video helpful. Let us know your response in the comments below. Like and share this video. Until next time, hit the bell icon and stay tuned.